what's up y'all welcome back to my channel this is amber J. so listen y'all i know it has been a while since you guys have listened to in one of my videos and i am sorry but look here y'all i have been on a walk with the lord me and the lord have been doing a 101 just to give you a brief summary of my my hi hi hiatus excuse me um there was a particular time in my life where I was supposed to get some development, but things happened. Things got in the way, right? So the Lord has taken me back into that particular time in my life, and he has given me that development. Now, God is so good. Look, when the Bible says God will restore the years that the canker worms have eaten, you best to believe it. But anyway, look, that's just to explain my hiatus. I am not going to talk about that right now. Maybe at a later date I will, but listen, the... um intent of my video today is to talk about your kingdom spouse your prodigal spouse return uh for a lot of you your spouse is here right your kingdom spouse is here your prodigal spouse is here already right the lord kept his promise which he gonna do anyway because he can't lie that's something he just cannot do okay the bible says that the promises of the lord are yes and amen right but anyway, so like I said, your kingdom spouse is here, but it don't look like how you thought it was going to look like. He or she ain't where you thought they were supposed to be. Because remember, this was something that the Lord, if this is for you, this is something that the Lord gave to you, a promise that he gave to you. He downloaded into you as you are already on your journey, on your walk, in your Christian walk, right? You know, and so, you know, while you're just, you know, just, do, 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 you know, just, you know, doing what you're supposed to do, living right, acting right, getting better in present towards the mark. The Lord just put this on you. Hey, you got a, a, a kingdom marriage, you know, um, up ahead for you. Right. So you've been praying. You've been fasting under under the direction of the Holy Spirit, fasting, going into spiritual warfare, you know, not for this person to obtain the person but for this person, like for them and their well-being. Right. And in and, and to break off. um strongholds against them right you see what i'm saying and so you've been praying you've been fasting you've been growing you've been developing and they're here and it don't look like all oh, your prayer you know this you would think all of your praying and all of your um you know spiritual warfare and binding and rebuking and losing you, you you would thought they would probably be in a better state than they've returned but what do you do when they or not when they don't look like what you thought they should look like right now the last thing you want to do as a matter of fact this is not an option i'm not even gonna say the last thing as if you could resort to it no what we're not gonna do um what we're not gonna do is doubt the lord what we're not gonna do is think the lord made a mistake remember god promised you your kingdom marriage he promised you your kingdom spouse he has kept his word. It is here. Just because it doesn't look like what you thought it was going to look like does not mean that God made a mistake or tricked you or however the enemy may be trying to play on your mind. God kept his word. He's an honest God, period. All right. But I said it before. What do you do when they're here, but it's kind of like, what? I know all my prayer binding, rebuking, loosing, fasting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You should have done more than this, right? And look, I'm always just going to talk real to real people, okay? Look, I'm not going to give you some cute little, you know, oh, it's going to be a fairy tale. I'm always going to talk in reality, right? And so anyway, I'm going to go to um, the verse of scripture, you know, that, um, that the Lord um pressed upon me to share this because like i said before a lot of you guys kingdom sponsors have come right so listen i'm going to read out of luke chapter uh 15 verses 20 now this is a story of the prodigal son. Many of you already know about the prodigal son because if you've been on any type of kingdom spouse journey, anything you already know about 
being prodigal, right? And it actually starts off at uh, verse 11, and I'm just going to give you a little bit of a skim through it. So there was a wealthy man. He had two sons. One of the sons said, hey, um, I want my estate right now. Let me live the way I want to live. The father agreed. The son did just so. And then, um, long story short, life got so bad that the son wound up um, not only squandering through his wealth, but he also got so low to a point that he was actually eating with the pigs. Now, that is just nasty, right? Nasty. He was eating with the pigs, right? And so he came to himself and he was like, you know what? I could be doing so much better in my father's house. All right. So let's stop right there. And I want to take you to... Um, I want to take you to verse 20, okay? So look, the Bible says this. So he, we're talking about the prodigal son, got up and went to his father. While the son was still a long way off, let's pause, y'all. Look, a lot of your kingdom spouses are returning, but they are still a long way off. They still a long way off. I know you've been praying. I know you've been fasting. I know you've been going into spiritual warfare. I know you've been doing all of these things, but that doesn't mean that they will come back perfect. That doesn't mean that they were going to come back wrapped in a shiny bow. They are still a long way off. Okay? But they are returning. So let's move along, okay? I said they are returning because that's the... That, <laughs> That's the thing. They return. But come on, let's, let's just move on. I'm getting excited. Okay? So look, while the son was still a long way off, his father saw him. He was filled with tender love for his son. He ran to him. He threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattest calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. The son of mine was dead and now he's alive again. He was lost and now is found. So they begin to celebrate. Look, y'all. I know you thought when your kingdom spouse would come, it was just going to be this big celebratory moment. Everything was going to be beautiful. You know, God apparently had y'all separated for a season. God, um, uh, you know, been... Um, grooming you and just prepping you and preparing you and on the other side you know uh, a lot of us you know myself included probably thought well hey you know this must be going on on that side too as well and <laughs> perhaps not you know I mean? you know it's like maybe not perhaps not maybe it didn't happen that way but god fulfilled his word in saying that they were going to return and you have got to um take hold and be grateful that not only that the lord hallelujah listen to this guys that not only that the lord kept his word listen but this time the return is serious because the return is repentance repentance is a change of mind. I was in church this Sunday and the pastor was talking about repentance and he said it actually comes from the Greek word metanoia, right? Meta, we already know, means change. Noia is a, cha is a state of mind, right? Meta, like metamorphosis. Noia, like paranoia or anything like that, you know? So it is a, um, it's a, it's a change of mind. So listen, you do not have to worry about what's going to happen when they return because this person is returned repenting. But look, they may not look like repentance. They may not look like um, uh, the, the glory of the Lord is wrapped around them. There's still a little bit more work to do. Listen, take heed and make uh, pay attention to the Father. Pay attention to the father in this instance, right? The Bible says while the son was still a long ways off, he seen him. Listen, your prodigal spouse is returning, but he's still, he or she, you know, this could be for um, men who are believing for their wives as well. Well, he or she may still be a long way off. They may not be as um, um, edified in a word or um, scripturally equipped as you are. They may not be. The Bible says that the son was still a long way off. But also, listen, they came, the son came back repenting. He came back. He said, look, I'm not worthy of you. I'm not. 
And that's all the son pretty much really had to say because the father shut him up. But quickly, he went to go get his servants. And in the process of him getting his servants, he said, y'all dress him up. Remind him who he is. Look, before the celebration happens, before this big celebratory moment that you've been waiting for, look, this person is returning, but you still got to do a little bit of prayer. Okay? You still got to do a little bit. Not You may not have to do the warfare. Or, you know, I don't know. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. I don't know anyone's um, case in particular, but there's still a little bit more work to do. They are here. God is good. God kept his word. It may not have come how you thought it was, but so what? What will? What will? You know, you could get land your dream job. That doesn't mean it's going to be a hunky-dory every day. But God is faithful, and he is just, and he will deliver. The Bible says that the word of God does not return to him void, but it will go out and set forth the very thing that he carried out to do. If God gave you that promise, it's not going to come back to him looking silly, <laughs> you know. But anyway, listen, y'all, I want to give you this word of encouragement. Your kingdom spouse is here, but they still may be a long way off. Listen, the boy, the kingdom, the, the excuse me, the prodigal spouse, the prodigal son, excuse me, y'all. The prodigal son was just sleeping with pigs. You expect him to smell good? He was eating with pigs. You expect him to be vegan and doing clean eating all of a sudden? No. It's a little bit more work to do. But be encouraged. Because the same God that brought you this far will be the same God they carried this last part through. Look, y'all, y'all take this into prayer because this is a very critical moment, okay? I love you guys. Be blessed. I love you. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. You know, we have freedoms here that a lot of places in the world don't have. Always be grateful. I love y'all. Be blessed. Bye-bye.